Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my winter 10 for 10 capsule wardrobe. And this is the challenge that I actually completed because it is winter here in Sydney. All of the outfit details plus a blog post featuring every single link to all the items that I'm wearing is in the description box below. For outfit number one, I've decided to inject a little bit of color because we all know that in winter, it's all too easy to just go for an all black look. So I have gone for this red and white striped top and I've paired it with my Mute by JL camel coat, which which is just giving me life at the moment. Uh, my skinny jeans from Dr. Denim and also my two-tone pumps from Benelli, which honestly, I could not recommend these shoes enough. The bag is a little Zodiac bag, which I think adds a little bit of fun to this outfit. I picked this up off Amazon, so if I can find anything similar, I will be sure to drop it in the description box below. I really like the way that this outfit looks and I think that the silhouette is balanced really nicely. I like how the skinny jeans pair really effortlessly with the striped top, which is just such a wardrobe classic. And then the jacket as well just ties it all together. And you can also cinch this one in at the waist if you like. For the second outfit, I've gone for that red and white striped top again, but this time I've laid it underneath the dress. And I feel like this is the easiest way to get a lot more mileage out of your more summery pieces. This dress has been one that I've been reaching for quite a bit just generally because I think the fact that it's black makes it pair really well underneath just a black skivvy. It looks really chic and the length is really good for the office too. It comes just an inch above my knee which I think is pretty reasonable considering I work in a more relaxed office environment. The bag that I've paired it with is my Chanel. I have been reaching for this a lot over the weekend and absolutely loving it. It was definitely a very spendy purchase, but I have seen some more affordable alternatives, which I will be sure to link in the description box below. On my feet, I'm wearing my Everlane Day Heels. These are just sort of a go-to for me. I know I can rely on them and they are pretty comfortable as well. I've done a full review on these, so I'll link that in the description box in case you wanna check it out. This next outfit incorporates a couple of my favorite wardrobe staples. A really great cashmere sweater. This one is from Everlane and I love the stripes on it. I just think it's really different and also a great skinny jean. The Dr. Denim skinny jeans honestly are one of my most worn items in my closet and I cannot rave about them enough. They're really nice and stretchy, however, they don't give too much. To keep the color palette looking a bit light and fresh, I've worn this really gorgeous Wilson Trollope globe coat, which I will try and link below if it's still available. I've also paired it with my gray Acme Studios Canada scarf and my Philip Lim Pashley mini bag, which I absolutely adore and really need to wear more. On my feet, I'm wearing my Everlane Day heels. I love wearing shoes like this on the weekend that are really comfortable, but that I can still run around around in as I feel like it helps to elevate my whole outfit and stop a casual outfit from looking too sloppy. Now onto Monday's outfit. This was just sort of a really relaxed look for the office. You can see I'm bearing my ankles, so it really wasn't too cold that particular day that I wore this. I've paired it with a white linen shirt and a jacket. This trench is from Karen Walker and it's very old. However, I have seen the beige version on eBay, which I will drop down below in case you want to check it out. But it's just such a gorgeous piece. It's canvas too, which makes it slightly waterproof. I'm wearing a cashmere scarf wrapped around my neck, which is from Mia Fratino. I like this because it's a little bit of a blanket scarf, so it means that I can just drape it over my shoulders when I'm in the office. My tote is a black leather tote bag. This has become a little bit of a default option for the office just because I like the fact that it's really soft. It's very easy to kind of transport around. However, it has a little bit of structure too. And then on my feet, I am wearing my Charlotte Olympia pumps, which I adore. And I just really love that little gold heel detail. I think it ties in nicely with the gold buttons on the jacket as well. For Tuesday's look, I've gone ahead and worn that wrap dress from Everlane again, and this time I've paired it just as I mentioned before with a little black turtleneck underneath. I just think that this is such a chic outfit and it is such an easy way to transform a more summery dress into a winter option. I have paired it with my Everlane boss boots, which I adore. I think they're so comfortable and I think they are a really fantastic alternative to the Acme Studios Jensen boots, which I did own. And honestly, I think there are so many amazing alternatives out there that you don't need to splurge on them. The jacket is again that utility jacket from Workshop. I love this and I think it just adds a really nice kind of casual relaxed vibe to the look and then I've gone for my tote bag as well. For my next outfit, I've gone for the turtleneck again, but this time I've paired it with a skirt. And this is a really gorgeous polka dot maxi skirt, which I love because I think it adds a little bit of whimsy to my outfits. And I am wearing some tights underneath this because it was a cold day. 
On my feet, I'm wearing my Joe Mercer buckle boots, which have been a pair of shoes that I have reached for so much over the winter so far. My coat is again my Mute by JL coat, and I have really decided to up the drama with this outfit by pairing it with these really huge oversized wavy earrings. I have been wearing them quite a lot to work actually, and I just love the fact that they're so different and so unusual to anything else that I have. I have also worn my Kuyana leather tote bag again. As I mentioned, this really is just kind of my go-to staple for day to day at the office. It fits all of my work essentials, including my lunchbox, my laptop if I have it with me, plus any parcels that I might get delivered during the day. For Thursday's look, I've gone with those grid check trousers again, this time paired with that ivory sweater from Joseph, which I swear just goes with absolutely everything. I like the way that this looks a bit dressed up because I've worn those two-tone pumps from Vanelli. Those shoes I find really elevate so many of my more relaxed outfits because these trousers feel like wearing pajamas. They're very, very comfortable. The coat is from Stella McCartney and this was such a splurge for me at the beginning of the year, but I have not regretted it. It has been a really great investment. It is absolutely beautiful quality and I can see why it does have that huge price tag. I like the fact that this kind of incorporates a couple different tones of navy. As you can see, I'm also wearing a watch with a navy leather strap, which I think ties in really nicely, but it also pops next to the sleeve of my sweater. And then this time I actually have worn a different bag. I've gone for my Chanel because I think I had something on after work that day. Now what I love about that wrap dress from Madeleine is that it can be layered up so many different ways and this time I've thrown a sweater over the top of it to make it look like a little wrap skirt. You can see that I've sort of tucked the sweater into where the bow is so that it looks like that's actually the bow from a skirt and not a dress. This is just a way that I think you can make some of your key pieces in your wardrobe really multifunctional and really versatile. I've thrown on a trench coat as well. I think this is sort of a more classic Parisian style look. If you ask me. On my feet I am wearing some really high shoes. For the office I actually have a pair of Max Mara heels which I tuck underneath my desk which were the shoes that I was wearing that day but I wanted to give you guys the general gist of the whole look um, and I have paired this one with my Celine Trotter bag. I love this look and this is the kind of outfit I think I've been wearing quite a lot recently. So I've got my Joseph sweater which I think you guys probably know by now. It's one of my favorite items in my wardrobe at the moment. I've paired it with my Dr. Denim skinny jeans again, and I've thrown over an army colored utility jacket. This is one that I picked up last year and I actually saw that it's still in stock and it's on sale in case you guys like this particular style. I will also link some alternatives in the description box too. My tote is my linear tote bag, which I adore and I think it just pairs really nicely with the olive green of the jacket. I have done a review on this one as well, so I will link that one too. And on my feet, I am wearing a pair of loafers. I really love the relaxed vibe of this outfit. This was a weekend outfit, although I probably would put on a pair of heels to wear this to the office too. For this last outfit, I decided to do a little bit of print mixing. So I am wearing that Eveline striped cashmere sweater with the polka dot maxi skirt. And I think that this is just a little bit fun. On my feet, I am wearing those Shell Olympia pumps again. These are really comfortable because they've just got a really low heel. So I find them perfect for the weekend as well if I want a more elegant shoe. I am wearing tights as well because it was a cold day. I've thrown on a scarf. This is my acne scarf which is kind of a bit of a blanket scarf. One of the things that I like to do with this when it is cold is drape it over my shoulders and wear it a little bit like a pashmina or a shawl. I just think it's a really great way to make an item like this a lot more versatile. So those were the 10 outfits that I wore for my 10 for 10 challenge. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I would like to know which your favorite outfit was. Please don't forget to check the blog post for photos of all of these looks and I'd love to know if you're going to be participating this time around. See you soon. Bye. Thank you.